Hello there folks, it's Psych Asshole Fight here again, and it's time for race 11 out of 36, the Coca-Cola Racing Family 600, otherwise known as the Coke 600. Well, last race was pretty good, guys. It was pretty good, I must say. We have won, yes, four races in a row. We won California, Martinsville, Richmond, and Talladega. Let's see how the point standings are. We are only 75 points away from Sterling Marlins Ganassi Dodge. I mean, my goodness, we were well, like 16th in points with like on the uh, after race three, and now we are just one bad day from Sterling Marlin away from taking the points lead. But we have to keep the pressure on. And last year we went to the Coke 600, and let me tell you, we did terrible. Their upcoming schedule, I think, is really uphill for us, guys. I really do. We have the Coke 600, which last year we finished terrible in it. But in the fall race at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, we did pretty good. So I'm thinking if we can kind of rekindle that magic we had late in the season in North Carolina, we can possibly have a good finish in the 600 and keep pressure on Marlin. Then Dover, anything can happen there. I do remember last year we were really good at Dover, but we just couldn't get it done. We got a top five, I believe. I think Jarrett won it last year. And then Pocono. It, 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 we won a Pocono race last year, I believe. So, I mean, we could win that one. I remember this one, uh, we got hit by, what, Tony Stewart or something? And it really messed us up. And then, of course, Michigan. Now, when I seen Sirius Satellite, I thought that was actually Watkins Glen. No, it's actually Michigan. So, yeah, this is, we won both Michigan races last year, and we won Auto Club this year. So, no doubt, that is a, a golden ticket race. So, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. But past Michigan, we do have Infineon, Daytona Road Course, and the Pepsi 400. So, the three-week wild card stretch is coming up. It's only four races away. So, that's going to really... Uh, it's going to determine who's going to win this championship, what paint scheme we're going to run. We're just going to run the normal uh, Sicko colors in the Coke 600. And, well, let's go NASCAR Endurance Racing. All right, guys. Well, I'm not entirely confident in our race trim speed, but we did get, a, we did get the pole, so <laughs> that's great. But I'm just not confident in race trim speed. Car is very loose in the straightaways, and landing the car is not exactly... Uh, where do I want it? It's going to be a little difficult, guys. Let's sit down to pre-race ceremonies. A couple wins. Try four in a row. Engines are fired here in Charlotte. Well, oh boy. It's a Roush front row, Mark Martin and Jeff Burton. And, I, and I, if I remember correctly, Mark Martin won the 600 last year uh, in 2002. In real life, he did it too. So it was pretty cool to see that. But we barely edged him out for the pole. I'm not confident in race trim speed, guys. I'm just... There's something about this race car. I just feel like it's going to really hurt us in race trim. But last year we finished like 30th. 
If we can just get a top 10 today, guys, I would be proud of this race team. Let's get it going. Here we go. Green flag in the 2003 Coca-Cola 600. We've won four straight races. Everybody in the garage area is buzzing about us, but none of that matters, guys. This is a racetrack that we're going to have to earn it on. We're going to have to earn it. There's Marlon right behind us, our points leader. We're second in points. We're our points leader now. We are a points leader. We're not the points leader, but we are a leader amongst the points. And if I remember correctly, whoa, car stepped out a little bit there. But um, if I remember correctly, the fall race at Charlotte Motor Speedway was won by Dale Jr. Well, we, we were running second that race, and we just could not run him down. But we had top five speed. That would be an awesome thing to have a top 10 today. I think that would be a win for us. I really do. Car is very loose, though. Early in the run, the car is super loose. Once the tires give, it will be a little bit easier, I think. Whoa! There's Marlon. Mark Martin out front, and as you can see right there, that's how loose this car is. It is so loose. The corner entry... It, it, it just bobbles, man. It bobbles. Very touch and go. I'm like barely moving the analog on the, on the straightaways because that's how loose the car is. I'm trying to see if I can catch a, a sniff of a draft on Martin and we can try to get up there. But here comes Ricky Rudd to Haviland Ford. A bunch of Tauruses out front here at Charlotte. Oh boy. In the fence. Yep, that's what happens when we don't land our corner right, and Ricky Rudd's going to go right on by. Uh, light damage from that. It's okay. Keep digging. I just don't think we have race trim speed, guys. I just really don't. Because, like, they're pulling away, and we're kind of standstill. I'm trying to drive the car as hard as I can. The car is maxed on loose conditions. Like I have turned the track bar, the wedge, to the absolute max uh, for the loose setting, and it, it's still it's still not fast enough. So we're just gonna go out here and just try our hardest. It's all we can do. Charlotte is a it's a tricky uh, one and a half mile track. It's not like Texas where you can just full throttle it and it just land in the corner and just kick back the throttle. Charlotte, it's it's weird to describe it. It's like a touch and go. The the, the groove is, um, or the track itself is a, is a little bit more narrow and the groove is a little bit more I wouldn't say Darlington, but it's more like Darlington than it is Texas where Texas can be considered at points multi-groove. Charlotte is really, my opinion, at least on this game, uh, very uh, isolated with the groove. It's just one groove. And you really gotta follow it. If you just if you mess it up, you're gonna be in the fence because of how narrow the track is. But as you can see, those two forwards have just drove away and we're still in third. It's okay though. This is the longest race of the season. It's forty laps. It's gonna be a long one guys. We're gonna have to endure it though. Again, top 10 is what I want. Here comes Jimmy Spencer. Trying to flex his Dodge horsepower that Ganassi has really had uh, this past season and this season. I think Ford has won five races this year and Dodge has won three. I don't know how many Chevrolet wins are out there. Uh, I know Pontiac has a win at Vegas. Oh man! So that's the same. Like we're we're just the only reason we're still third is because we're able to block the AI. But as you can see, the car is just not handling well, guys. I'm thinking on the pit stop, we're gonna drop the air pressure on the tires even more so we can get a higher acceleration. I'm trying to keep Dale behind me. Uh, obviously, four tires. I'm thinking a lower air pressure adjustment. Do we tighten up the race car, guys? Do we tighten the race car up? I mean, I don't know. I don't think we do. Actually, no, I think we will tighten it up. I don't know. We'll, we'll try something. 
But if we tighten it up, it's going to hurt our corner speed. I really don't know, guys. I don't know. We have about probably about eight laps to stew on it. We're going to make sure we hit the halfway point. Or at least know that for sure we're good on fuel. I don't feel like risking it today. I just want to get a top 10 and get out of Charlotte. Or Concord, if you will. The actual racetrack is located in Concord, North Carolina, not Charlotte. It's kind of like how the Dallas Cowboys are. Oh my god, a big crash back there. Something happened. Someone had an issue or something. But, um... As I was saying, it's kind of like how the Cowboys are. Their, their stadium's in Arlington, Texas, yet they're the Dallas Cowboys. It's kind of how Charlotte Motor Speedway works. Uh, the 49ers, San Francisco 49ers football team, their, their stadium's in Santa Clara, but they're the San Francisco 49ers. So it's kind of, it's weird. I wish they wouldn't do that, but they do it for financial reasons. Anyway, it's lap 12 of the Coke 600. Uh, a big bobble by a red car. I think it might have been Dale Jr. I'm not sure. Uh, it really stacked up the field. And the uh, top 10 is kind of, well, our top 8-ish have uh, just drove away pretty well. So, um, I just don't know, guys. Do we tighten the car up? I don't, I don't know. I know for sure we need to just... Okay, I think what we're going to do is just going to, we're just going to drop the air pressure and we're going to leave this car, um, handling-wise in terms of wedge. I think we're going to leave it as... As it is, because I don't want to really toy with the car. I don't know. Let's see how hard we can land this thing in the corner. Let's see how... See, we couldn't do that if we, our car was tight. You see what I'm saying? So, I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and handle with a pretty loose race car. Because we can't, we can't afford to give up the speed we have now to have a better handling race car. We want a faster race car... Not a better handling race car. Um, the uh, the tire pressure adjustment will definitely help our speed, I think. I think we can push the acceleration a little bit harder and perhaps get a little bit more speed out of these Goodyears. But we'll figure it out. Meanwhile, I mean, Mark Martin and Ricky Rudd have checked out. They are on an island of their own. We're just hanging in third, guys. We're hanging in third. It looks like one of those guys are going to win this, the, the 600. Uh, that'd be cool, though, another forward team. I'd really like to see Martin win it, though, being our teammate. But if Rudd would win it, that'd be pretty cool. But again, no, a lot of things still have to uh, transpire here in uh, North Carolina. As long as we can protect our points lead, that, or not points lead, but points standing, I think that'd be a, just a absolutely amazing accomplishment because last year in the 600 we were miserable oh it's sterling martin's coming i'm just saying he's coming he's got an opportunity to grow you know his points lead if he can pass me because we're only 75 points behind we're second in points a top five would be a great thing but honestly my goal is a top 10 I'm not worried about the top five. I want to get a top ten. I just want to make sure we're in the top ten. That's all I care about right now. This is a track I think we're going to be chasing all day or all night long. And as the sun continues to set, we really got to focus on. I mean, our tires are so worn. Man, this is not good. But the front two, I don't know. Do we do we chance it? I don't think we can. I don't think we can tight, tighten the car out. I think we're just going to have to go with a higher acceleration, drop it all the way we can, and see what we can do. So we just don't have the speed, guys. We just don't have it. Sometimes you just got to bite the bullet, you know? You just got to bite the bullet and, uh, you know, take the hit once in a while. You just got to take a hit to the gut. Meanwhile, pit stops are, I think, about to get on the way. Here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, or Lowe's Motor Speedway, leaders are coming in. Someone just dropped off. We're not going to come in yet, though. We're going to make sure we have enough gas. Plus, I want to pit with Marlin. Yeah, I know. So it's lap 19, so do we pit now? Let's see. If if we were to pit, well, how much gas do we have left in this car? Probably a lap or two. 
I think we'll be good. I think we need a pit. We're, we're giving up too much time on old tires anyways. So let's go ahead and uh, get down. Oh, thanks, Newman. Jerk. Uh, it wasn't Newman's fault. It was my fault. I was slowing down ahead of him. Anyways, we're going to drop the tire pressure and make sure our wedge is all the way to the back. There we go. Well, we're going to drop the tire pressure as low as I can. See what that does. It could do nothing. It could do a lot of things. I don't know. It can make us slower for all I care. But all I know is that I just want to get out of here and just, you know, uh, fix this car. I should have repaired damage, to be honest, but I ain't worried about it. 15.4, not bad, not bad. And we came out ahead of Ryan Newman with four fresh tires and Sterling Marlin. That's awesome. That's what I want. So a very good pit stop for the crew, but nonetheless, this race car is still super ill handling. But you gotta be you gotta be loose to be fast. So these cats I think still have to pit. Oh god, please let me get around him. Jesus, please. Whew. I thought he's about to come down pit road. I thought he's about to door swipe me. Okay, 97's on the track. Alright, so we're 14th right now. Some guys still have to pit. I don't know how fast the car is overall, but we have dropped the air pressure on this thing as low as you can. I want a top 10. There's the Ganassi 41. God, this car is bottling them out so bad, dude. This thing is bottoming out. It is a low rider. I mean, we are all over the splitter right now. Or, do these things even have splitters? I don't even know. I imagine they have some type of splitter underneath it. It's just so weird because that all of it's like underneath. I imagine these do have one. Who knows? I know the front nose is in the ground, though. I'll tell you that. Something is. For fourth place right now, and this thing is hopping like the Easter Bunny. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There's Junior trying to make a run on the inside here. Oh, we're going to wash up. God, the car is bottoming out so bad. Oh, he's Monte Carlo. He's there. We're going to tag him just a little bit. Tag the wall. God. This is this is gonna be fun. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Blend, blend, blend. There we go. I'm okay with Kurt going by. It's okay. Oh, Dale. Man, Charlotte is such a pain, guys. It is a pain to navigate. It's a tough racetrack. It really is. Like like I said, it's it's a it's an isolated groove. Uh, the way. The, the speed is you have to run this tight tight groove and, then, and within that tight groove mistakes are amplified so much because of this tight boundary you have to race within that once you step out of the groove it, it, it's a freight train it's like Dover you know it's just it's a very um, very tight rope type of track. You have this a certain line around it and as soon as you step out you have no speed. And that's how Charlotte is. It's not like Texas. It's not like Atlanta where you can just dive it in the corner, kick back the throttle and you're good to go. Here it's just you have to play with the throttle and you gotta just maintain a certain line. It's a lot tighter um, margins that you can work with. See like right here Barely out. I just barely stay in the throttle a little bit longer, and I'm already in the wall. And I lost that spot on Newman, and I was, I wasn't, you know, losing much on Kurt. If not, I might have been gaining a little bit. So that's a little unfortunate uh, to hit that wall there. But this is why Charlotte is such a tough track, guys. It, it's, it's not a, you know. It's not one of those tracks you just go up there and just dive it in the corner. It's not Michigan. It's not Texas. It's it's a different animal. 
but it's fun though, you know. A lot of these people don't like one and a half mile tracks. I love one and a half mile tracks. I love good one and a half mile racing. It's so good. But as you can see, there's so many people behind us. If we have a massive mistake, we're going to fall outside the top 10. So we really got to be on our game. We can't let these guys go around. Like right there. Just an inch too high. And it can look, turn into a foot or two too high. You just have to nail your marks. And they're all stacking up behind me too. So it's even more pressure. But, you know, welcome to the Winston Cup. I just want to stay in the top 10, guys. That's that's the goal, is a top 10 for the sit go forward. And it's such a long, grueling race, because right, right now, if we were at Atlanta, we would be within, what, like four to go? But we still got like five, six extra laps in this race. So that those five extra, you know, six laps could really be detrimental to our team, especially we got Sterling Marlin right behind us. I don't want to cause any trouble with him. I, I want to race him with respect. But as of right now, we would be gaining points on them, but still, I don't I don't think we're going to be able to hold all these guys off. I feel like they're going to get by one way or another with tire, fair, tire wear and just out, outright just fast race cars. Oh, boy. The exit of four at Charlotte is such a pain because the way the cars handle these EA games is that... If you slam on the throttle, and like I think 06, if you're on the throttle like full, full burst, your car and you're turning full left, your car gets really loose, and you step out and touch the wall. Well, here, you still, your car still gets a little bit twitchy right here. Like that wall comes up very, very close. It's much like Dover, where you go to Dover and you run that tight rope type of line around the track. And that, that, that wall, you know, you're like, oh, I got plenty of time. Let me just kick back the throttle, and then boom, you're slamming the wall. Oh, sorry, Rusty. But I'm going to be a little bit aggressive. I'm not going to let these cats just go by for free. You know, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to be aggressive, guys. I'm going to try to go out here and just hold them off, but not, not wreck them. Like right there. Oh, whoa. See, look at that. I'm trying to catch the car right now. That's that's how loose it is. I don't know how we did that one though. We got around Marlin. Dang it, man. Oh no. Yep. That's how Charlotte is, guys. That's Charlotte Motor Speedway. Wow. Well, that's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. And I don't know how, but Bobby Labonte won the race. Wow. So, we just lost a pile of points. Go figure. Go figure. And Sterling Marlin, of course, gets a top five. So, yep. That's how close the racing is. Like I said, it's it's a tight groove racetrack, guys. You're going out here. You're you're trying to get a good good line. And as soon as I started getting past, like I was my car, I was getting woed up basically. Like my car, uh, it was really loose. I was having to turn left and right just to keep it in a straight line. And once I lost that momentum, I dived in the corner and I got around Marlin. And then uh, <laughs> I gave up a little bit more, and then it just, I started falling back. I tag, I tried to tag Gordon to see if I could slow him down, and then, well, got wrecked. So it, it sucks, you know. It's the first DNF of the season. It sucks, you know. It really does. Uh, we had a good run going, but it just sucks. Meanwhile, Bobby Labonte gets his second Winston Cup victory of the year. He wins the Coca-Cola 600. And, uh, well, st the statistics for the standings are going to be terrible. Anywho, though, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, smash that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. 
Hope you have a great one. And Diecast Buffet, signing off.